Stephen Valentine is just out of the Army. And since he drives a fuel-sipping hybrid Camry, this veteran figured ride-sharing would be a great way to earn extra income, driving for Uber or Lyft. Well, I was wanting to find out which ones you can earn the most money, which ones has like the better benefits. Now, at first glance, the two ride-share services appear to be very similar with Uber being more popular in many cities. But then when you dig deeper, you find that there are quite a few differences. I love it. I absolutely love it. Vicki's Whistler has been supplementing her print shop business as a driver for both Uber and Lyft over the past four years. Pretty much a guarantee that you're going to generate cash. She says she's done better with Uber since it's in more cities and riders are more familiar with it. Um, the Lyft app is a little bit less informative. But Lyft, she says, has one big advantage. It encourages passengers to leave a tip. And there is a tipping feature in Lyft where the passenger can choose to leave one at the end of the ride. Both companies will now let you lease a car instead of wearing out your own car. Vicky says it's worth considering. The advantage to leasing it is exactly that, not putting miles on your car, because it is extreme mileage. But leasing lowers your take-home pay. Speaking of pay, Nerd Wallet compared services and says Lyft's average pay is $11 an hour, but tipping can bring you more. Uber's average pay is $15 an hour. Uber has two more bonuses. Earn money delivering food through Uber Eats and get paid more if you drive a fancier car. With both, Vicky says, you'll make the most money during peak times, such as Friday and Saturday nights, but a caution. I've had four people throw up in my car. In the end, Nerd Wallet gives a slight edge to Uber. It says to earn $50,000 a year, you must provide 60 Uber rides per week or 80 rides a week with Lyft.